Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is a routine unedited FECO. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And now, an air bubble is injected. Underneath this air bubble, Tripan blue dye is applied over the interior capsule. The dye is then washed out with BSS using a 23G Simco cannula. The antechamber is then filled off with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The methyl cellulose is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. The left side port is done now. And now capsular axis is done with the help of this utrita forceps. The anti-capsule is torn, a capsular tag is obtained and the tag is guided anti-clockwise all around and an adequate sized rexis is achieved. And now hydro dissection with PSS and a 27 gauze cannula. It is done at multiple points and the nucleus rotates nicely. And now the AC is again filled up with visco. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the needle. The machine being used is Oatly Faros. And here goes the tip of the FECO needle. And now the FECO needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped. And this is, you can say this is vertical chop. The nucleus is held firmly with vacuum and it is chopped. Now the nuclear fragments are emulsified with ultrasonic energy which is 60% in this case. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now this is the last bit of the nucleus. The nucleus as well as the epinucleus is removed. And in this case we find that there is hardly any cortex. Only of bit of cortex is there at 6 o'clock. The rest of the area, the bag is clean. So I take this Simco, remove the cortex from 6 o'clock. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I'm going to use a B cartridge for implanting the intraocular lens. So I enlarge the main wound a bit and then here goes the intraocular lens in the capsular bag. The leading haptic as well as the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag. 
so the case is done we just have to close the side ports and form the anti chamber very nicely whatever visco was there in the bag as well as in the anti chamber is irrigated out this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are closed hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds and then the antechamber is formed nicely after an antechamber lavage by this 23G Simco cannula here it is the antechamber is formed and then the integrity of all the wounds are checked using a cotton taped Janssen bar and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention this is a totally unedited recording and you have watched each and every step of this surgery and we have completed this surgery in about six minutes but it was not done in a hurry so if we increase our surgical skills the surgery will be fast but it will be safe